Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Premier League Fantasy Football and welcome to my video. In today's video, I want to look at my team going into game week 23. But before all that, let's just have a quick look at my team and see how well they performed in the double game week 22. As you can see, I've got 60 points above the average of 32 and I made one free transfer. Now, because of all the postponements and you know, issues with like rearrangements and, you know, injuries and so on. I thought to myself, you know what, let me make that transfer that I mentioned on my previous video by removing Son and bringing in Fernandez. I brought him in. Not only that, I captained him. And as you can see, he scored two goals against Aston Villa, got me 28 points. And he still has one more fixture left to play. So as you can see, I've got Fernandez and Sanchez left. Um, so that helped out a lot. Diaz did not play, so I am going to get Williams off the bench. So that's six points there. That's 66. If both of my players play, it's going to be around over um, 70 points. So hopefully they can return, get closer to that 80 point mark. So very, very, very good. As you can see, game week rank of 270,000. So very good. And that helped me out a lot. As you can see, I was around the 700k mark, 600k, 500k, and now I'm around 400k mark. My value is horrible and everything's just going wrong this season. But I am going to continue to push, continue to play properly. And just I just need that luck to continue. Um, so, you know, still got a lot of fixtures left, a um, lot of double game weeks, uh, got all my chips available for me to use and uh, yeah i just want to get closer to the top 100k mark then i'm done with this season <laughs> and we can just start again next season so really happy good push hopefully fernandez will return and maybe sanchez can save a penalty or something but anyways so i'm gonna quickly go through my team and then we'll go to game week 23 so sanchez ago got more one more fixture left didn't keep a clean sheet against crystal palace so that was a shame and hopefully can get some returns there. Diaz did not play. The Manchester City players is just not performing well for me. And it's just not going well. Because they're just getting rotated a lot. I don't know why Pep is like rotating Gundogan. I don't know why he's on the bench. He's such a good player. But I guess everyone is fit at Manchester City. You know, you got Foden, Sterling, Grealish. you got um, Kevin De Bruyne playing really good. So... I guess it's difficult for them to play but i'm hoping that they can like all of them to start because these fixtures are very very good for manchester city so ds did not play i will get williams off the bench because he got me an, an assist and a bonus point and it could have got more actually um dawson with only one point disappointing um trent with an assist and a clean sheet with one bonus point there I mean, I can't really say too much about him because he's just bringing the points all the time. Like, I just wish that I had Cancelo instead of Diaz. That transfer of picking Diaz over Cancelo just did not pay off. Uh, it's one of those things, you know. I had these um, problems before by, you know, um, uh, well, not problem, a good problem. Well, forget the problem. Um, you know, I had the choice to make, like, if, if I should bring in Havertz or Mount. I went for Mount, and he got me a big amount of points on that day when he scored a hat-trick. And it's, it's one of those things, and I'm just stuck with Diaz right now. I don't want to take too many hits, so it's one of those things. Anyway, let's move on. Um, Fernandez with two goals, and bring him in, in in this fixture here, and him to score two goals and captain him, it's... I mean, it's luck, but it's... A, an amazing luck. So that was fantastic. Uh, that helped me out a lot. Hopefully he can get more. Bernardo with three. Bowen is just continuing to do well. Um, scored against Leeds. And he could have scored another one right at the end, but he missed. Uh, Gunnar one with one. Watkins with two. King with two. And Antonio with four. So he got an assist. So the single game with players that I mentioned, like if I was to free hit and all the you know postponement games didn't get postponed, you know, Antonio, Bowen, and Trent was the three players that I would have brought in. Uh, brought in, like, players that has only got one uh, fixture. And as you can see, Williams off the bench with six points. And Smith-Rowe doesn't have a fixture. And Christensen was unwell. So, 66, 
It's going to go around 70. Hopefully, I can get more. That will be fantastic because I need it. So for game week 23, now there are a lot of talks about, you know, Aston Villa getting a double game week, um, maybe Leeds. So we'll see what happens. It might be announced um, like after the deadline as well. So we don't know. Maybe after this video, it might get announced. So if that's the case, then I will be bringing in a double game week player and probably captain in that player. Now, I've got a couple of issues in my team that I do need to sort out. And that is my goalkeeper, because Sanchez doesn't have a fixture in game with 24. So I'm thinking like maybe Martinez from Master Miller could be the way to go. I do want to remove Diaz, but not yet. Uh, but I do need a defender. So I'm thinking to remove Christensen for... A double game we play if we get an announcement soon before the deadline that will be fantastic then i will remove christensen straight away and bring it in a double game week um player uh, here in the defense so i do so i am looking for a defender and a goalkeeper um but as you can see ds away against southampton is a good fixture um dawson against manchester united away is not a good fixture for the defense because I can see Manchester United scoring. Uh, Trent against uh, Crystal Palace away is a good fixture. Or oh, is always a good fixture for um, for Liverpool anyway. So I can't really say much about him. I am thinking to captain Fernandez at home against West Ham. I don't think West Ham can keep a clean sheet. I don't think their defence is that good. But their attack is good. So Bowen and Antonio, I think this is a good fixture for them to get a return. Bernardo and Gundogan are just going to hope that they return because I need that badly. Um, there's just a lot of players in that Manchester City side. You know, Foden, Kevin De Bruyne is doing really well right now. So, um, I'm just going to hope for the best. Maybe I'll, I need to remove one of them and, you know, make way for a, a, a midfielder like Rafinha or something. Um, Watkins against Everton is a good fixture for Aston Villa. Aston Villa has got good players right now. Continue to look at Dean, you know, they signed them. And they're just looking really good. And I, I like I like seeing I like seeing uh, the team, like, changing and, you know, being motivated. Um, you know, it just gives them a better chance to kind of, like, score or, or do well in their fixture. Josh King against Norwich is, at home is very good. So, hopefully, he gets the returns instead of Dennis. <laughs> And Antonio against Manchester United. Now I've got Williams on the bench to kind of help out. But I think I'm going to remove Christensen because I don't want him anymore. And he has hurt my team a lot. So let's have a quick look at the fixtures. Uh, Watford against Norwich. Uh, although Norwich has been playing really well lately. I think this is where Watford is going to get some goals. So we're looking at Dennis or Josh King. Uh, Everton versus Aston Villa. It's just going to be an interesting game. Uh, Everton's, you know, their players are coming back, like Richarlison. You know, Cavalurin is there. Um, so, I think this is going to be a very interesting game. Aston Villa has got, like, very good players right now all around the pitch. So, this could be a high-scoring game. Brentford versus Wolves. I would like a Wolves defence, but I'm not sure if I should bring in their players right now because there could be other things that I need to do first, like maybe bring it in Rafinha uh, against Newcastle. This is a very good fixture for Leeds to actually do well. Um, Manchester United against West Ham. Yeah, um, Manchester United players. I can see them scoring against West Ham. I don't think they can. I don't think they can keep a clean sheet. So for that sake, uh, keeping the West Ham players like Antonio and Bowen is the way to go. Um, Southampton versus Manchester City. I think Manchester City is just going to be too strong for Manche uh, for uh, for Southampton there. Um, Arsenal versus Burnley. We don't even know if this game is going to go ahead because uh, Arsenal, um, you know, requesting a post moment against Tottenham and Burnley requesting uh, a post moment. Uh, was was it against uh, Watford? Right? Yeah, Watford. So it's it's a it's a problem so i don't think we should invest in the burnley or arsenal player right now unless there is a double game week and unless they say it's all good to go now with crystal palace and liverpool the only player here that i'm afraid of is jota so i guess i just need to pray that he doesn't do anything um leicester versus brighton 
I don't think because of the postponement fixture that Leicester had. Um, I don't think a lot of people went for Leicester players, and even if they do well, they're not going to hurt the rank too much. But uh, Chelsea versus Spurs is going to be a match to kind of watch to see what happens. You know, there's Harry Kane, Mason Mount, a couple of uh, Chelsea defense is quite strong and highly owned. So we'll see what happens there. So I'm kind of like covered here. Um, I just need to kind of wait until the deadline, and um, you know, I might th I might even bank the transfer if I don't hear anything. But if I hear anything, if I feel like there's going to be a double game week for a team, I might go in investing that player, investing that team. So I'm looking at a defender and a goalkeeper. I know it's not the best to kind of like fix up the goalkeepers, but I, 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 I really want to do that. And, you know, if I'm going to be bench boosting one day, I do want my bench to be full of players that actually plays. And uh, I might just press the bench boost button, when, you know, once I get a good game week that all of my players actually plays. So for this, like, I'm thinking to bring in Martinez because the fixtures are actually really good um, and he could get some returns so that's what I'm thinking to do maybe I could just instead of removing Sanchez you know I might need him I might just remove my second goalkeeper and just bring in Martinez I've got a lot of money in the bank uh, I could bring in Salah back into the team by removing Fernandez you know that money is kind of saved for him as well once uh, Salah is back and um, that is pretty much it really I think we just need to all wait and see what happens. But those are my thoughts. I'm hoping that Fernandez and Sanchez gets a big amount of returns. And I can yeah, get closer to that top 1GK mark. Anyways guys, thank you so much for joining. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Please give the video a like as it helps my channel out a lot. If you're new to the channel, please do subscribe as well. This is a mission to get to the top 100k. We'll see what happens. I'm going to keep pushing. I'm going to try my best not to take too many hits. But if there are a lot of double game weeks, um, you know, fixtures, then I might take a hit here, uh, here and there to kind of like try and bring in all the best players as much as I can into my FBL team. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. See ya.